Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this particular video, we will learn about a beautiful trigonometry trick to solve trigonometric equation. This is sometimes known as the graphical trick. This particular problem came up in ISI BSTAT BMATH entrance, but it's also useful for mathematical olympiads such as IOQM, American math competitions and so on. You can check the link in the description for more details. So, sine of 7x plus sine of 3x is equal to 0. This is the equation. It's given that x is between 0 and 2 pi. And we want to know for what values of x there is a solution. How many values of x? The question is how many solutions? Okay. So, the first thing that we will use is a very well-known algebraic identity. This is sine of A plus sine of B is equal to twice sine of A plus B by 2 times cos of A minus B by 2. This is a very useful identity. If you do not know why this is true, I would encourage you to think about a proof of it instead of actually you know looking up the proof you can use the normal multiple angle formulas and compound angle formulas to prove this once you prove it yourself you will you never forget it right so give it a try uh, we will directly apply this formula though in this particular case this is two times sine of 7x plus 3x by 2 cos of 7x minus 3x by 2 equal to 0. We want to solve this equation, so 2 cancels off. So this is sine of 5x cos of 2x equal to 0. Now from here, I can take an algebraic route. For example, I can say that, okay, this is only true if sine of 5x is equal to 0 or cos of 2x is equal to 0 and sine of 5x is 0 if and only if 5x is equals to n pi. n pi means uh, some natural number times pi. It's a multiple of pi. Okay. Uh, provided x is between 0 and 2 pi. And similarly, we can do it for cosine. Actually, let's take this route and see what happens. Uh, I will just solve for sine and you can do it for cosine. So, sine of 5x is equal to 0. This implies 5x is a multiple of pi. Why is that? You can, if, if you check the graph of the sine function, you will notice that it is touching the 0 point only at values which are multiple of pi. Only at values which are multiple of pi. Natural number multiples of pi. That's why we want 5x is equals to n pi. Right? Okay. So, uh, we want x between 0 to 2 pi. x is between 0 to 2 pi. So, for what values of... So, x is equals to n by 5 times pi... So, we know that 0 is less than equal to x is less than equals to 2 pi or 0 is less than equals to n by 5 pi less than equals to 2 pi or we can just cross multiply and get 0 is less than equals to n and is less than equals to 10. So, I just multiplied by 5 on all sides and then I cancel off the pi, okay? So that means the natural number needs to be between 0 and 10. So the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 values work. 11 values, right? The same thing can be done for the cosine case. So only in this case, you have to be careful the picture for the cosine function is kind of like this. Between 0 and 2 pi, it's like this. 
So this is pi by 2, 2 times pi by 2. This is 3 times pi by 2. So what you see is that cosine is 0 at the odd multiples of pi by 2. So you want 2x to be equals to some 2k plus 1 times pi by 2. And or x is equals to 2k plus 1 times pi by 4. And you want that to be between 0 and 2 pi. So you can now again look out for the values of k for which this works. How many values of k? Another way to think about it is when you do sine of 5x, you squeeze the function, squeeze the graph five times. Why is that? Sine for sine x equal to zero, you can think of x as time. In two pi seconds, it completes one wave. In two pi seconds, it completes one wave. When you make it sine of 5x, then the same wave is completed in one-fifth of the time. Because now, you can just replace this x by 2 pi by 5, and you will get sine of 2 pi, which is 0. So, in one-fifth of the time, it's completing a wave. So, the wave is getting squashed horizontally. This is also known as graphical transformation, trigonometric graphical transformation. This is called horizontal squeeze. Okay. So if I draw the graph, let's split it into five equal parts. So this is one part, two part, three part, four part, five part. Pretend that they are all same. So in that, the entire graph will be completed. Entire graph will be completed. So actually, the height will be the same. So, the entire graph will be completed within one-fifth of the time. So, one wave is complete. Similarly, two wave is complete. Three wave is complete. Four wave is complete. Five wave is complete. So, and all the heights are same, by the way. My, my drawing is not that good here. All the heights should be same. Just one, one and negative one between that. So, uh, how many cuts are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Exactly what we found by the algebraic method. So, I want you to keep in mind both of these methods. Geometrically, there is a squish happening. And number of cuts of the x-axis are 11. And algebraically, we saw what happened right now. The same thing is true for cosine. You can also check for what values of cosine this works. Since these are odd multiples of pi by 2 for which this has to be cosine is 0. So none of these 11 values will be same as those values which will make the cosine 0. So you have to find separately the number of solutions which make cosine 2x equal to 0. And add that to 11, you will get the total number of solutions. Can you give me the final value of the or final solution in the comment section? You can also go to the um, links in the description to find out the answer key for this. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you are enjoying beautiful mathematics. I will see you in the next one.